Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to write rules, Firebase rules in real time database for a simple chat application which contains these three paths which are users, chat underscore path and person underscore chat. First I will show you this users and chat underscore path. The users contains a list of all the users and each location this, these are the UIDs of all the users and at each location there is the username of the user and the UID of the user. Okay, so in this only the user whose UID is here should be allowed to change this data. So he should be allowed to write this data. Other users should not be allowed to write this data or they should not be allowed to change this data. But his username should be visible to all the users. So all the users should be allowed to read this data. So I have done like that. And in chat underscore path, all the users can send message and all the users can see the messages. Okay, so let's have a look at the rules here. So here these rules contain the three data locations. One is users, which has the value as JSON object. It ends here. And then there is a comma. Then there is chat underscore path, whose value is another JSON object. And it is followed by a comma. And then the personal underscore chat. So there, these are the three data locations. And in the end, all the brackets are closed. Here, this personal underscore chat value ends here. And then the rules and the complete rules are closed okay so in users i have said dot read to or dot uid not equal to null means any user who is logged in can see the data of all the users and then i have made a sub location which is dollar user underscore id and in this sub location i have said dot write to or dot uid equal to user underscore id so only the user whose uid is here at this sub location can change the data or write the data okay and in chat underscore path i have said dot read to or dot uid not equal to null and dot write to or dot uid not equal to null so any user who is logged in can change the data and see the data in chat underscore path now let's have a look at the personal underscore chat Here in personal underscore chat, any user can send a message to any other user. So here you can see that uh, suppose this user one with user with UID W8 sends a message to user two, user with UID KY, then the data will be added to both these locations. First, it will add this user one uid of user 1 then it will add the uid of user 2 which is with ky and then it will add the message okay it is this is the message id and the message then another message id and another another message okay similarly uh, the same message will be added to the user 2 and then with user 1 and then the message id and the message Okay, you can see that the same message ID and same message is added to both these locations. This is when this user, the user with UID W8 sent a message. Okay, and here you can see the UID of the person who sent the message. So message contains the UID of person who sent the message and the message gets added to a location for user 1 and a location for user 2 and all these messages only this user will be able to read and all these messages only this user will be able to read okay and 
yeah, here you can see that these two messages were sent by the user with UID W8 and this message was sent by user with UID KY. And here also, this is the same message and it was sent by user with UID KY. So I hope you understood here. If this user sends a message, it gets added to the user2 and then below this and then here also user2 then user1 and below this and at this location the user2 can read the message at this location this user1 can read the message. Now let us have a look at the rules. So here in rules, in personal chat, first I have added dollar user underscore ID. So this will be UID of user one, and inside this, I have set dot read to or dot UID equal to dollar user underscore ID. So only the user one will be able to read data inside this. The user was UID is here, and I have written dot write to or dot UID equal to user underscore ID. So only this user will be able to change this data but i have added another location inside this which is dollar uid here all this should be separated by commas okay so this is the third item in this list and this is a subsection inside this user underscore id which is dollar uid and this is the uid of second user and here i have set dot write to or dot uid equal to dollar uid so the second user can change the data here. So this means that data at this location can be changed by both the first user and the second user. Okay, but it can be only read by the first user. Okay, and second user will read the data at his own location. So this is for the rules for personal chat. And that's on this video. Thank you very much for watching this.